Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Sarah here. So today we're going to be recreating this beautiful green, purple, and blue gradient look using my new Morphe 35i Fantasy Palette. This palette came out about a year ago. I'm so excited to be using this today, so let's go ahead and get started. So I'm going to be starting off with my Smashbox Concealer in the shade Fair Medium, and we're going to just be applying that all over my lid with a flat shader brush. I'm going to be using the flat shader brush from Bare Minerals to blend this out with. Sometimes I use my fingers, but sometimes I find it easier to use an actual brush for this. You just want to make a nice base for your pastel eyeshadows because pastels are kind of hard to work with sometimes. I found in this palette that the blue was pretty hard, honestly, to work with. So now that we've got that primed, we're going to go ahead and take the light green shade in the palette. It looks like I'm struggling a little bit, <laughs> but we're going to be taking this sparkly light green shade in this palette. This did take me a couple times to perfect, so don't worry about it. Just go ahead and pack the color on. As you'll see, I'm packing it on with a say, Morphe flat shader, a little bit more of a dense flat shader brush. These ones actually don't have names, so I'm not quite sure on what the name is. I did get this in a holiday collection set about a year ago now, and I really do like it. But like I'm like I'm saying on the camera, don't sweep this color because it will just disappear because of how light it is. But you can see it's a really pretty soft green glittery shade. And I'm actually going to take my finger now and just go over it because it looks like I was struggling a little bit and the color wasn't really showing up too well with the brush. You could also try using MAC Fix Plus, but I decided not to do that because I didn't want the green to be too harsh anyways. But I'm doing about three layers of this and just packing it on with my fingers just to make it a little bit more, I guess, vibrant. <laughs> and I'm going to be taking the brush and just blending that in there. And now we're going to be taking just this random dense brush once again and taking this blue shade and this is such a beautiful icy blue shade unfortunately it didn't show up too well the first couple times as y'all can see i'm packing it on just again again not doing the windshield wiper motions because these pastel colors are very sensitive in this palette and they will just completely just brush away so as y'all can see you can see a little bit of the color payoff but again i have to use my finger with this shade because it's just not showing up I did do another like lemon lime inspired shade with this palette a couple weeks ago and the yellows were pretty nice. I did I think use this green. Um, I might have used another kind of yellowy green but I did really like the yellows in this palette. However this beautiful blue isn't showing up too well. You, It kind of matches my nails <laughs> but you can see it's starting to show up a little bit better now. Um, once again I would recommend using your finger for this because it is taking quite some time with a brush. However, it could just be the brush I was using because I've had that brush for quite some time. But as you can see, it is coming up a little bit more pigmented on my fingers. And it looks like we're going to be doing one more coat. I think I did about four coats total just to get that pretty blue icy color for the lid. Now we're going to be taking just another dense blending brush. I don't know where this is from again. And I'm just going to be taking this beautiful purple shade in this palette. I am obsessed with this shade. I actually want to do a pink and purple look with this shade. And I'm going to be taking this on the outer part of my lid. Do not. I'm so used to blending colors completely, but this will completely disappear. So as you can see next to the tape, I'm just slowly packing this on. And the color payoff is honestly way better on this color. Um, as y'all can see on the other eye, this is coming up a lot more pigmented than the other ones. So I was really happy about that. I wanted at least one of the colors to show up um, pretty vibrant. So I'm really glad that this one showed up. So I definitely will be using it more. But like I'm doing, I'm just going ahead and just packing this on, creating a wing on the outer corner. And I am going to go ahead and touch up the other eye as well because I liked the way that this color looked on the eye, this, the right eye better. And I'm going ahead and just touching up my, well, the left eye better, but I'm touching up my right eye. <laughs> I cannot talk, y'all. I'm recording this at night and when I already filmed this like hours before. And I'm currently also sitting in my closet, so <laughs> that's fun. We're going to go ahead and just touch this up, pack it on to our liking. 
Looks like I am pretty happy with it. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go ahead and continue to touch up this eye as well. Now I'm going to be just taking this blue shade again in the middle and I'm going to go up to my crease and just blend this out since we did get a little bit of purple there. I'm just going to make sure there's no harsh lines or anything. I'm also going to be taking a couple other layers because I did kind of put, kind of blend away that blue from the purple motions. But we're just going to go ahead and go over that and make sure that everything looks bright, pastel, and spring-like. Next I'm going to be taking that same Morphe brush and just going in with the green shade again and packing that into my inner corner because we want to make sure these are all blended evenly and it looks like I was just not happy with that blue shade I really wasn't it kept going away really easily and I just was not having it so we went ahead and just used our finger again for that so now I'm going to be taking this purple real techniques blending brush and I'm going to just be blending out the harsh edges to make sure everything is blended perfectly together and there's no like harsh lines or weird chalkiness, which I didn't have any problem with chalkiness in this palette. So I was pretty happy with that. I did hear some complaints, but now we're going to be using that silver glitter shade. This is a pressed glitter. Do be careful with this. I'm taking this on my ring finger. I know pressed glitters aren't the best for you, which is why I don't use them that much. As pretty as they are, they're really hard to come off and they can honestly cause damage to your eyes, I've been told. So I'm just going to be packing this on my eye for some shimmer. I've been thinking about recreating this look by doing a cut crease with one of the colors that are more glittery, but let me know if you guys like this look and if you wanted to see that look as well. And this is what it's coming out to so far. Next, we're going to be taking this shimmery champagne -y shade, and I'm going to be using this for my inner corner and my brow bone. And as y'all can see, that made a big difference on the inner corner. It looks super pretty and bright. On my brow bone, since my tan is fading on my face, um, you can't really see it as much, but in pictures you could see it. So I guess just in this lighting, you couldn't see it that much. But it was there, I promise. <laughs> Now we're going to be taking the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras and just applying to the eyes. Now we're going to be taking the purple shade and we're going to be doing it underneath on the lower lash line. I'm just going to be smoking this out next to the other purple shade on the wing. And we're going to be doing the same thing with the blue and the green. Again, the blue on the lower lash line would not show up. I was definitely struggling. I know I'm out of frame, but... I apologize for that. Also, ignore my messy hair. I did action washing it after this video, but you know what? You get what you get, right, gum? I tried to actually fix that little area that looked like there was a little, like, red mark, but it wasn't going away, so we just continued to blend out that blue. <laughs> Next, I'm going to be taking the other brush and just applying that green to the inner corner again brightening everything up and making sure that there is an even blend to the colors. Okay y'all, so next we moved on to the face. Looks like I'm struggling again. <laughs> I'm taking this Smashbox highlighter and blush palette and I'm going to be taking this really pretty rosy shade. I'm obsessed with the shade, you literally couldn't see it on my finger which is why I made that face. <laughs> But I'm just going to be putting this on my cheeks. I ended up doing my foundation beforehand. So I just used my Bare Minerals foundation. And just I'm going ahead and applying the blush now. And I'm completely obsessed with this beautiful rosy shade blush. It is so pretty for spring. And I think it really complemented this eye look really well. And next we're going to be taking that highlighter. I don't know why I put it away. I kind of like second guessed myself and thought I wasn't going to use that highlighter. But then I ended up really liking that highlighter. <laughs> so I was going to use my Anastasia um, Sugar Glow, Sun Glow, Sugar Glow palette. But I ended up liking the highlighter in the Smashbox palette. So there's me second guessing myself and trying not to embarrass myself. But I'm taking just a Morphe highlighter brush that I got in a singular from the Morphe store. I'm just going to be applying this very subtle highlight. As you can see, it's super, super subtle, but super pretty as well. Taking it on the tip of my nose and just the other side of my face. And then I'm also going to go ahead and just apply it above my brow bone.
Okay, y'all. So now we're taking Lauren Lash from Rain Lashes from this month's subscription. And this is the finished look. I, my eyelash was actually trying to come off on the one eye, but here is the beautiful pastel spring vibe look. I love it so much. I'm super obsessed with it. And now we're taking a sparkly pink lip gloss from Too Faced. This is a beautiful color. I'm obsessed with it. It would also look good with a nude or brown lip liner, but I didn't have that at the moment, so I just applied it to my lips. Super shimmery and sparkly. I am completely obsessed with this color. It is so spring-like. 